As we come together this morning, <clears throat> let's go with the, the idea that Wendy gave us in the quote. That each and every one is a unique, individualized, wonderful expression of life. That life created us for a purpose. The universe needs us to express our uniqueness. Without us, something would be missing. Something that no other could replace. There is only one life, and we call it God, but it expresses itself through many different creations. It constantly is creating anew out of a sense of joy, out of a sense of self-discovery, out of a sense of what the mystics will tell us is the satisfied delight of self-existence. This divine life does not have a sense of self and other. It only knows itself. And since it has created each and every one of us out of itself, it knows us as part of itself. It has created us to make this magnificent discovery. It has created us to grow in consciousness, to become aware not only of it operating in us, as us, and through us, but to become aware of the fact that there is no us separated from it, separated from each other. There's just the one expressing as the many. Today, we come together, we declare our intention to open ourselves up to more and more and more of the inflow of the divine life and to close ourselves off from every and any idea that would diminish the experience of God. We dedicate ourselves to our true purpose. Discovering and expressing the presence of the divine within. We are grateful for this opportunity to be together, to love each other, to support each other, to encourage each other. As we look at each other, we see the very presence of God expressing as them. And we recognize that as others look at us, they recognize the very presence of God expressing through us. In this spirit of unity, of oneness, we release this treatment to the perfect law, knowing so certainly that it is done, <clears throat> that we say together, and so it is. Alrighty then, so this morning I'm holding up a book for the folks on YouTube.